wounded heroes of the Scarus at this point. He has mm. nothing to lose, right? Whoa! Wow, this is crazy. Oh, he empowered him! Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Warriors with Panos and Matt. We are breaking to Season 7 of My Hero Academia, Episode 10. Very interesting point last episode. We saw Dabi potentially not dead. He's still alive yes. and he has... There was an activation, right? There was this mm -hmm. purple light. So maybe he has a secondary mutation because secondary mutation was the topic. Mm -hmm. One of the topics in last week's episode. So let's see what happens next. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, that was... She's going to lose her yeah. left ear now, whatever. No? <clears throat> Huge mutation. Damn. That they're not fast enough, you know. Because he's actually so I mean, slow. Yeah. But it was a huge attack. So. No, I get that. But considering how long it takes for him to shoot, they could have reacted. Oh. Oh, oh Hawks, Hawks as well? I don't pierced. remember. <sighs> Your delusional supporting mm. characters. Whoops. This is devastating. He is the demon lord. Ah, new opening! I hope she can regrow that thing. She's gonna lose it now. Let's go, girl. What is The quirks inside of him are fighting? Interesting. Let's go. Ah, there you go. Okay. Weak spot. Oh, he broke the sword. Yeah, but the hand oh, is also broke. Yes. Amazing. See you later. He needs to go berserk. Black Abyss. Can he deflect? Amazing. Smash! Ragnarok yes. fleeting blow. That is what we need. And now Endeavor needs to come. He needs to get it together. Well, the episode is called Burning Wounded Hero Burning something. So I'm sure I'm sure Endeavor is going to be... Ah, and the music is always so good. Interesting. Okay, he couldn't anticipate the rebellion. Mm -hmm. Oh, he created copies of the quirks? Because he gives the originals to others? Yeah, maybe. Or because he lost them, right? And then he just created copies. Oh. No. Oh, no. Oh, Hawks! Oh, he's getting the helmet back. Hawks took the blow. Oh, no. What just happened? What? He's gonna die, you know? He lost his arm? Oh my god. Oh, is that him? 
少女もろとも肉体と化身しちゃう。保持していなければ保てぬ程度の醜い心。そう。That's probably all for one talking to him, no? I think so. I think it's his inner demon, you know? That's what comes hunting all of us at the end of the day, you know, our inner demons. This is heartbreaking. Oh. Wounded heroes are the scariest at this point. He has nothing to lose, right? Whoa! Wow, this is crazy. Oh, he empowered him! Let's go! Wow, this is crazy. What is gonna happen? He's going berserk. He needs to call off. Oh, he, it hit him actually. Yeah, but he needs to remove this defense, this barrier, you know? These guys need to run. These guys need to. No! These guys need to yeah. run. He's not holding back, you know? What? Wow. <laughs> God. This is crazy. Wow. Come on. Flame his face off. He needs to burn him. Be careful. Yes. Oh, he turned into Cyclops. Oh my god. Is he gonna like... Take him to the moon? Explode with him. Maybe. Like a self-destruct. Wow. Like the beacon they all need. The beacon of hope. Is this the last time we'll see him? Wow, this looks incredible. But maybe he's gonna come back like a phoenix. Maybe that's a secondary quirk. He can be reborn, yeah. you know, out of the ashes. It also looks like anger is his main driver. He's angry at anything and everything. Ah. Oh, wow. But listen, All For One is not dead. He has a plan B. It's All For One. Yeah. Well, Shigaraki is plan B, I guess. You think? Interesting. Oh, look. What? What? That was it? No, come on, do it again. What now? What is happening? Exactly. What is this? Oh my god, imagine he'll take over him. What? Huh? No. He has her power. He can rewind, right? How does he have her power? Maybe he copied it. Right? This was just a, like he's rewinding. Because Endeavor said he doesn't have his re regeneration, so what else could it be? What's going on here? Everybody's getting fingered? That looked cool. What are these guys going to do? Oh! 
This looks a little like um, mm. Chainsaw Man, you know, the ghost, um, yeah. the ghost devil. Yeah. But also, how does he produce fingers so casually, right? Mm. Where is this power, this mask coming it's, from? It's, yeah, it's like a mutation. Like, no, no, this like... also takes me a little bit out of the fantasy. Like, this is a little <laughs> too much. Come on now. What's going on? He's just reproducing fingers with no extra cost, like... He's not weekend or anything. Hmm. Ooh, what is going on here? Wow. He's like, I'm going to turn into a transformer. Strafe Panzer. Let's go, Bakugo. It is your moment. Yeah, I was just thinking the same. Like, yeah attack the main body, you know? Let's go, guys. So they're both doing it, right? Or is it just me? Hmm. See, because when she keeps reproducing whatever she's reproducing, she gets tired, right? But Chigaraki is just throwing fingers around and it's yeah. just, when are you getting tired, you know? Oh, look, fingers are flying. <sighs> but I hope nothing is happening to him. Bakugo might have had the biggest character development. Great explosion murder got dynamite. <laughs> okay. Howitzer impact. Let's go. This is cool. Yes. Damn, very cool transition into his art. This is the base, the the yeah, from inside like underneath, yeah. Mm. He's too heavy. <gasps> He's gonna drop. He's like, welcome to my live stream. <laughs> this is what's currently happening. <laughs> Subscribe and like now. Yeah. Yeah, stop, stop filming. Going. What's this? Yeah. This is too much. Babe. Get to work. <laughs> A documentary. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he wants to touch him. Damn. I hope it's doing some damage. Okay. Don't close your eyes. He's gonna be blind after this. No. no. Oh. Oh. Damn it! Bakugo. I knew something's gonna happen. Do another attack with the other arm. Where have these guys been? Oh no. Oh, he just threw them away. Oh gosh. Oh, Bakugo. <sighs> this broken arm. Can they just pull him into the base? <sighs> Is he gonna use him? He, I mean, he's coming anyway, like he's on his way. But how long is it taking him? This was episode 10, what do you think? Wow, such a good episode. It was a good episode, I agree. I mean, we continued where we left off, basically. Yeah, roller coaster. In the last episode. Roller coaster. Um, and Deva got it together. Right. Still angry. Still angry, but like yes. he said, like th at this point, this is what <laughs> what fuels him. Exactly. He's you know, just upset, to non-stop, angry, non-stop. Um, Got a bit mm -hmm. of backstory there as well. We see his father died trying yeah. to save a girl, and mm -hmm. he obviously, ever since, was jealous and chasing that superhero spot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and him fighting against um, all for one. All for one. 
also interesting to see that the quirks were holding back all for one. They were sabotaging. For yeah. the first time ever. Yeah. And he couldn't, and he didn't see it coming because of the attack. What was her name? The sound attack. Yeah, but also because it never happened before. Mm. Right? He, I, I don't think he, he thought about it that this could ever happen. But it was interesting because he said these are copies, right? Mm. If he would be controlling the originals, that the original quirks, yes, it wouldn't happen. Um, and we see Endeavor doing an incredible job, losing his right arm in the process. I was actually yes, a yes. mess. I was crying. <laughs> the whole, that, that sequence, I was a mess. <laughs> From the backstory to the to the monologue to the fighting, I was just <laughs> mess. Um, I feel for him, you know. He yeah. he was and he is. He was always this arrogant asshole, with a you know motivation, the wrong type of motivation, and pushing and and jealous. And you didn't really connect with him. And I guess that was meant to be. You know, you weren't supposed to really connect yeah. with him. But then eventually, you saw that this arrogant superhero is just a broken father. Right. It's just like a tragic figure, you know? Really. And if you think about it, the, I said Bakugo might have had the biggest character growth, but Endeavor himself also had a, a very, very mm. significant character growth, you know? Yeah, to the point probably. here where we see he doesn't care, it's his job, he will do whatever it takes to defeat evil. Yeah. So he, he, he puts up a very good fight. He damages all for one significantly to the point where he burns him. But then all for one, especially with that voice, I thought it was very cool, that burned voice when yeah. all for one started talking. He's like, ha ha ha, you thought you got me. But he said, like, even like, just like you said, with wounded heroes, wounded villains are just as strong. And then you see Aerie is shown, yeah. which is obviously, she has the rewind quirk. And yes. then you see his ear is popping up, his eye is popping up. Yeah. So it, I'm assuming it looks like he has her quirk. I was thinking like for a second that he's just basically just going to transfer his soul or whatever Psyche. into someone else. I right? thought Endeavor for Maybe a second. Maybe into Endeavor. Yeah, yeah, I thought that as well. Um, like, oh my god, is he taking him over? Is he taking over? But yeah, it looks like he's basically rewinding and then in that way regenerating, you know? But I mean, again, here he says, oh, I'm done with this body. Which yeah, also in exactly. itself is weird because if you're done with this body, why are you rewinding it? Right? Yeah. Confusion. Confusion, confusion, confusion. Um, very good teamwork. Hawk, Hawks took also quite a bit of damage. Um, but overall, good teamwork. But yeah. Endeavor at, at the end went just berserk. He was just punching and even collateral damage. He was even hitting his allies, right? They were like, oh, it's too hard. We need to get out of the way. And, then, and he was like, why do we need to get away from it? Oh, do I need to tell you? Endeavor's coming. <laughs> Um, and then we switch and we see the Shigaraki fight scene in that coffin in the sky. Um, Bakugo with a very impressive cluster howitzer impact attack yeah. and his little situation on the back. Yeah. Um, but then Shigaraki catches him and breaks his arm. That was tragic. Yeah. That was tragic. I was like, it would have been too... Too easy. Too easy. You yeah. Know, like... Way too easy. This is episode 10. We have a few episodes fighting, if, if, uh, you know, yeah, definitely. ahead of us. But um, so far, he's still restricted, right? Shigaraki, like... Um, mm, he can't use his quirks. He can't use his quirks. So I'm sure there will be a point where he will start using them again. Yes. Right? And then fight with, like, full power. Well, because, when... I mean, already this, like, they can't really do anything against him. Which is crazy to think, you know. He's not even using his quirks and they're already struggling. Well, Aizawa even said, keep your eyes open at all costs, right? When uh, Bakugo attacked with that mm -hmm. howitzer impact, it was so bright. I could imagine. It's hard for you to keep looking at oh, this yeah, light. So let's see what's going to happen. But I was also impressed to see when they were saying all oh, the coffin is taking considerable damage but they were like oh we can still continue mm -hmm. uh -huh. but they also said like he shigaraki was getting too heavy right they didn't think about that he would produce all these fingers yeah. you know see this is what i find a bit upsetting about my hero academia and that's what has been going on for all of the seasons there seems to be always something they come up with in the last minute that is the superpower the super quirk that is just so out of this world that at least me it takes me out of the fantasy 
because it's a little yeah, too much. In this case, it's not even a quirk; it's just like a some mutation. kind of a mutation or whatever. Yeah, but but he just continuously produces more yeah. matter. He produces yeah. like he's turned himself into Apocalypse from X Men, <laughs> right? Where he's just producing fingers, and it's like, yeah, but where is all of that? material coming from like how yeah. much surely you how much using bone can... like energy yeah matter it, like he produces know? like where is this coming from right because the girl i forgot her name that that keeps producing so then he he did say at some point um that his body basically is changing oh yeah right it's adapting he's becoming a superhuman to basically find the best form that suits the quirks that he the holds, quirks that he holds. and his surroundings or yeah. whatever yeah I, I get i get that but what's next is he gonna turn into a dragon now <laughs> like you know what i mean it's just yeah. like calm down like it, it takes me away like it takes me out of the fantasy just a bit uh, but then again it's my hero academia yeah um right and then and we see in the preview vermilion is finally here babe where have you been where have you been but also our our hero our main hero Right. Deku. Yeah. I mean... Like, how long is he where, flying? He's flying like, from he another planet. To, uh, yeah. Chop, chop. <laughs> he's like, I'm... Uh, you know, he, he he's one for all. Quirk here, quirk there, but takes forever to arrive. Babe, can you please? Yeah. Anyway. But, it, I mean, you need it because at the end of the day, they all need a bit of time to shine. You know, everybody yeah. needs to have their moment. Uh, we saw Baku were not having his moment. I hope he's going to have another moment. I'm sure he will. Um, and then also best genius, but we'll see that in the next episode. Thank you guys for tuning back in episode 10. If you like our reactions, please subscribe. There is also more link down below and we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.